Welcome to a video taking a look at expanding triple brackets. Here we're asked to expand and simplify 3x minus 2, bracket 2x plus 1, bracket x plus 4. Now what expand and simplify means in this context is that we want to be multiplying each of these expressions, so 3x minus 2, 2x plus 1 and x plus 4, by each other. Now the easiest way to do this is to start by multiplying the first two brackets together. So we're going to multiply 3x minus 2 by 2x plus 1. Now the way that I like to do this is by drawing a multiplication grid. And what I'm going to write across the top is that first bracket, 3x minus 2. And then down the side, the other bracket, 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to multiply each of these terms by each other. So I'm going to multiply 2x by 3x or 6x squared, 2x multiplied by negative 2 for minus 4x, 1 multiplied by 3x for 3x, and then 1 multiplied by negative 2 for negative 2. Now what I then need to do, now I've expanded it, is I just need to simplify this. So I'm going to collect together the like terms. So 6x squared, I don't have any other x squareds, so that will stay as it is. Then negative 4x will collect with positive 3x, that will give me negative x, and then I've got minus 2 on the end. Okay, so I've expanded and simplified the first part here, and what I then need to do is just multiply that by x plus 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing again, just on a slightly larger scale. I'm going to draw out a multiplication grid. And along the top, I'm going to have this first expression. 6x squared minus x and minus 2. And I'm going to be multiplying that by x plus 4. So again, doing the same thing x multiplied by 6x squared gives me 6x cubed. x multiplied by negative x gives me negative x squared. x multiplied by negative 2 gives me minus 2x. 4 multiplied by 6x squared gives me 24x squared. 4 multiplied by negative x gives me negative 4x. And then 4 multiplied by negative 2 gives me negative 8. And then again, all that I then need to do is to simplify the terms that are in my multiplication grid. So collecting together 6x cubed with any other x cubes that I've got, which in this case I don't have. So I've got 6x cubed. Then I've got my x squared terms. We'll simplify to 23x squared. The x terms simplify to negative 6x and then minus 8. In this next part of the video, what we're going to take a look at is an example where the expression looks different, but the question is still essentially the same. So an example of this would be expand and simplify. And what we've got is x plus 5 all cubed. So what all of this means is we're multiplying x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. So we could write this expression like so. x plus 5 bracket x plus 5 bracket x plus 5. So the question is essentially the same as what we did before. So what we would do first is we would multiply the first two brackets together to give us x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 25. They, that would then that would then simplify to x squared plus 10x plus 25. And then we are multiplying that by x plus 5. So we would draw out our grid again and get these answers here. And then our final part would be just to simplify. So collecting together the like terms. And we would get a final answer of x cubed plus 15x squared plus 75x plus 125. Now we'll take a look at a second example here. So same idea, 
Here we're asked to expand and simplify x plus 4 bracket x plus 5 squared. So all that we are doing here is, again, it's, it's the same idea. This x plus 5 all squared just means x plus 5 times x plus 5. So what we could say is that this expression is exactly the same as x plus 4 bracket x plus 5 bracket x plus 5, which we would again answer in the same way as we have done for our previous two examples. In the final part of the video before the practice questions, what we're going to take a look at is a question which is worded slightly differently. So here we've got the first example that we had in this video, and we've got the answer underneath. Now, if we take a look at this question below, it is exactly the same expression as was in the first question, but here we're told that it is identical to, that's what that symbol there means, it's the identity symbol, and it means that it's identical to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where a, b, c, and d are constants, and we're asked to state the value of a, b, c, and d. Now, the technique that we would use to solve this question would be the exact same technique that we used at the beginning of the video. All that we need to then do is say what the value of the coefficients, so the number in front of each term in our expression is. So if we were to answer this question below, we would expand the expression as we did in, at the beginning. And then all that we need to do is say what the value of a is. What is the value in front of x cubed? So what is the value of the coefficient? So for a it is 6, for b it is 23, for c it is negative 6, and then for d it's negative 8. Now that we've gone through the idea of expanding triple brackets, it's your turn to practice. So pause the video here, have a go at these two questions, and then press play to check your answers.